Welcome back to Blind Grilling. I am the most interesting griller in the world and your host, Chris Peltz. And on this episode, we're going to be throwing some bell peppers stuffed with elk on the big green egg. So stay tuned. It's going to be a great cook. Today what we're doing is we're taking a pound of ground elk and we're going to be mixing it up and we're going to be putting it into these hollowed out green bell peppers and throw them on the big green egg. So what I've got before me right now is I have a pound of ground elk and man this is one of our absolute favorites uh, when it comes to meat is elk. Uh, and so we're going to take this elk and what we're going to do is I've got a, an onion that we've diced up. I've got some mushrooms that we've diced up. And normally what I would use would be some saltine crackers and crush those up if I'm doing like a meatloaf, which is almost what we're doing here. Uh, but instead of the crackers this time with the lean meat anyway, we're just going to use a little bit of breadcrumbs. Uh, and then we're going to season it with... 441 South Barbecue Company's uh, True Grit. And it is just a fabulous, fabulous rub, especially uh, for this type of cook. So let's begin by adding some of our uh, breadcrumbs. And then I'm going to go ahead and throw in our onions and mushrooms. And once we get this in here and combined, we'll add our seasoning. Oh, thank you. All right. Okay, now we've got our True Grit seasoning. And, you know, it's really just one of those things that's to taste. Um, oh! <laughs> so that <laughs> is going to taste great. So it now, what we want to do, what's that? Bit much. Bit much, yeah. We just want to combine this completely. Just get your hands in there. And do your best to just really, really work it in. Get those onions combined and those mushrooms in that meat, those breadcrumbs in that meat. And what you'll find is that a pound of ground meat can really go a long ways when you start adding all this stuff to it. So we just about have this combined. So if you'll bear with us, we've got a couple other things we're going to grab to throw in here. We'll show you that in just a minute. So the next thing we're going to do is we've got about a thumb's width maybe of uh, Philadelphia cream cheese that we're also going to kind of work in. Uh, to this as well and we've got just a little bit of white cheddar that we're going to work into our meat mix also and so we're going to get this worked in <coughs> as well and then once we really got all this good and combined we're going to be ready to stuff our bell peppers so now that we've got everything thoroughly combined at least good enough for me We've got our bell peppers. We've already hollowed out. We've cut off the, the top where the stem is, got all the seeds out, and you've got just this really great wide opening that we're going to take uh, like a clump of this meat. We're just gonna we're gonna shove it in there. We're gonna stuff these bell peppers with this meat. And then after we stuff these bell peppers. We're going to top it with a little bit of tomato paste right on the top. And they will be ready to go on the grill. 
So we're going to finish stuffing uh, these four bell peppers and we'll be back to top it with our, uh, with our tomato paste and put it on the grill. So we've got a small can of uh, tomato paste and it's just easier for me to get in here with my hands. And <clears throat> we're going to top these with some tomato paste. I don't generally use ketchup in any of my cooking. I know a lot of folks with the meatloaf and and things like that will top, you know, either put it in or top their meatloaf and things with uh, ketchup. I never, never. I, I just, I'm not a ketchup eater anyway and just really don't care for ketchup on most stuff. But, you know, it's, I know it's made from tomatoes. So we use tomato paste, you know, sometimes you can add like a tomato uh, sauce in the meat if you want, uh, but with this we really don't need to, so we'll just kind of get this spread around, got these topped. All right, we are ready to throw these on the grill, and we got the big green egg coming up to temperature. We're going to cook them at 350 degrees. We're going to stick a probe in the meat. We're going to get the meat to about 140 internal temp of that meat. And they are going to turn out absolutely delicious. So stay tuned. So folks, we've got our flame boss hooked up, controlling our temperature on the egg. We're going to put a probe into two of these uh, stuffed bell peppers. Just, just one them right there in the middle of the meat. There we go. We'll be back and uh, check on them as soon as that internal meat hits about 140 degrees. Folks, the internal temp says they've reached about 140. So, we're gonna see what we can do. Oh, bear with me just a second. Pull the probes out. Looky there. Looky there. Wow, I'm excited to tear into these. I don't need this glove, but they've been on for almost an hour, and we lowered the tent because I really wanted to get that smokiness. So, so we did this for about uh, between about about 50 minutes. Uh, internal tent reached 140, so we're gonna take them in and uh, we'll cut into them, we'll take a bite and see how they turned out. So we're inside, we brought these in and just to kind of show you guys, I'm gonna take this one just for our video, you guys can see kind of what's going on. Still hot, that's good. It's juicy. Yeah, it's supposed to be. There's juice everywhere. Looky there, looky there. Yum. So, that's what it looks like. Question is, this will be mine. How does it taste? Right? So let's yeah. give it a go. Hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. 
and that meat is put cooked perfect that's awesome you know the the green bell pepper you probably really need to like green bell peppers um, which I do you know to do this um, even if you don't if you others like it and you want to do this cook you know you can do it and then just take the bell pepper you don't often have like a little mini meatloaf or something it man these things they turn out so good and they're just they're awesome I hope you guys will give this a try put it down in the comments whether it's something that you would like to try you got other ideas things that you can do um, with this or maybe some other things that we can uh, stuff some burger into but until then, hit that subscribe button. Appreciate everybody watching Blind Grilling. And as always, if you're looking, you ain't cooking.